Hello there guys, James here. Today we'll be kicking off Android 12 for the Poco F1. I have installed Awaken OS Android 12 version. This is a beta version of Android 12. Today I'll be sharing a list of things that I've observed with this ROM and uh, we'll also be taking a look at whether this ROM is daily drivable in its current state. So for that, the first question is obviously safety net. Yes, safety net does pass with and without root. And for routing, I did use Magisk version 23 for routing. It worked. I also did flash my migrate package from Android 11. Now it is not recommended to flash migrate package from previous versions, especially if you are switching Android versions. But uh, I am a person with very limited data availability so I did that and I did not face any issues related to that. After flashing the migrate package I did update my applications from the play store. The one application that I faced an issue with that I use is Telegram X. I don't know why it uh, hanged up quite a lot. It did not hang up the whole phone, only the application hanged up. Replacing it with the normal Telegram app is fine. The next and the obvious thing that you'll notice is Material U. I'm using a red wallpaper here and the UI is red. So Material U applies to a lot of places from the status bar icons to the volume panel, settings icon and the settings background. It is slightly red tinted. The Google Photos app, phone app, messaging app, the SMS app and even Google keyboard. The default theme of the Google keyboard is set to dynamic color which takes the color palette from the wallpaper. Let me show you another wallpaper. As soon as you take the wallpaper you will see the color accent changing li live there. And yeah as it is applied you will see that the whole UI changed its color from red to green everywhere. Even the lock screen clock looks beautiful with material U design and even the unlocking password and everything integrates the material U which makes it a visual delight. Something that is connected to the material U is the themed icons. Now this is in beta and you will see that a lot of icons are not themed. Only the Google icons are themed. This is a new feature and most of the app developers are yet to take advantage of it. It is only themed in the home screen and not in the menu. You will see that the Gmail is themed here but in the menu it is the normal icon. Another major change is the notifications panel. You will see that more than just a panel it's like its own UI now. You will not see what is happening in the background. This is completely opaque. Every person may not like this style. This is a lot of wasted space, a lot of big icons. It is similar to the ones in MIUI or something like that but yeah. It is a fresh coat of paint. I really like this. It is a change from all these previous Android versions. So yeah, it is good. Another thing that I noticed from this is that the smoothness of the UI. Every animation runs very smooth. In Android 12, the animations have become slower. It is not the snappier animations. Uh, Google is also taking the Apple route, it seems, by slowing down the animation and prolonging every animation. But the ultimate effect is that the animations do run smoother, the phone feels smoother to use. This ROM uses pixel launcher as default so you'll get the pixel settings only, uh, there are not a lot of settings. And uh, guys note that this is a beta so you should not expect a lot of things. The next few things are yes the chat bubble does work and unlimited photo backup in Google Photos is also available in this ROM. And just like the Android 11 ROMs, there is per app thermal profiles for every application. I don't know what happened, I said BGMA to gaming previously, it reset, I don't know why. The One of the other major privacy features of Android 12 where it shows the microphone and camera being used is also present here. As soon as I open the camera app, the indicator comes and it stays on here. And connecting to this, another major feature of Android 12 is the ability to turn off camera and microphone for separate apps and that is also available and working. So if I turn off camera access and try to open the camera, it does not work. Even in other apps, it will just ask for a prompt to unlock. If you click cancel, the camera won't be accessed. So that is a nifty privacy feature that is available in Android 12 and is working out of the box. These are all the changes and the interesting things that I found in Android 12. Let's talk about the things that are not there or doesn't work properly as of now. So I'm reminding you guys again that this is a beta build so do not expect it to be stable or do not expect a lot of features. So first let's talk about the basic things. The first thing is auto brightness. It prefers to be on the dim side most of the time. The next thing is there is no auto brightness toggle here and I did not find any setting to enable that. But this is easily fixable through this small app from the play store. 
you can add a tile here and you can toggle auto brightness the next thing is the notifications itself um, you will see some things are not completely shown even the day but it's not a deal breaker another thing connecting to the notifications is that you will see the network strength icon here now as soon as i turn off mobile data you will not be able to see your network strength the next thing that is not proper is the battery stats it does not show it properly currently it is showing only from 50 percentage charge i have actually used this rom from 100 percentage but it's not showing that fully the battery life is not at all bad in this rom i have seen much worse android 11 roms the battery life is pretty good actually i did game for almost an hour and still got a lot of battery life out of the phone even now 15 percentage is left and in casual usage the battery does not drop drastically this is my normal usage face unlock is also not present currently in this rom uh, it will be added in the future builds we hope so and these are the things that i noticed with this rom now i have only used this rom for one day so this is not my final review or anything this is just my initial impressions video and also this is a beta rom so making a full review would not be appropriate another thing is gaming performance it is not the best i have seen worse in android 11 roms but this is not the best frame drops are noticeable here and there and it is not the smoothest experience but uh, i did like the fact that even though i gamed it did not hit, take a massive hit on the battery life the battery life is fine even with gaming so now let's answer the question that we we have asked in the beginning is this rom daily drivable so this rom the build that i am currently using is daily drivable i did not have any problems with applications or safety net or battery life performance or anything as such yes there are features lacking and yes the ui needs a bit more polish but these are not at all deal breaking you can live with this rom the only application that i use that i had a problem with is telegram x so i replaced it with normal telegram and it works fine there may be applications that i have not used i did not face any hangs or stutters or any random reboots there is nothing of that sorts here everything ran fine the system is very stable actually i am surprised at how stable this rom is and how smooth it is and as this is a beta build i am not going to give any scores as such because this is a beta i would not recommend anyone to try out this rom but if you are really interested to run android 12 on your phone yes this rom is a usable rom it does not have any customization for, uh, like in the android 11 roms that are yet to be added but as a pure android experience this is very much nice it is these custom roms that keep this phone alive even after poco's official support ending custom roms are the saving grace for this phone and this rom also shows how dedicated the developers are to bringing the latest version of android to this phone even before google's final release this is a beta version they are still trying to perfect android 12 and optimize so yeah i'm very excited to see what comes next hope you guys are excited too so that wraps up today's video guys i was so excited that i could not Uh, hold myself back from sharing my initial impressions on the android 12 rom particularly this awaken rom i really appreciate the developers for bringing such an awesome rom in such a short time and we can already guess that it, it will only improve more in the future hope you also liked watching this video from now on i will try to focus more on android 12 roms than on android 11 roms but that does not mean that i will ditch android 11 completely So that has been it for this video guys I will be using this rom more if you have any questions or queries feel free to leave them in the comment section below and as always see you guys in the next one